Hey, howdy and big welcome back to Yaxter Gaming, everybody, as once more we're going to pick up the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here on MLB 15 The Show. So as you know, we are 9-16 and 16 after the first month and a day of May in 2016, so we're going to simulate another week. I've made it a move, show you right quick here, show you the move. Daniel Norris to long relief pitcher and Stan Mora from AA, who's 65 overall, replaces Osuna, who is not getting the job done as the long relief pitcher. So here we go, simulate one week. And the Yankees are interested in offering a trade. Let's see. How about Gary Sanchez for Max Pentecost? Okay. Gary Sanchez is a catcher. B68 overall for 22 year old. And Max Pentecost is 70 at 20. 22. Yeah, I mean the savings are great, but um, yeah, I don't know. The savings are incredible. I mean that saves us a ton of money. And I think we should do it. And you know what? In fact, we will. Max Pentecost did well for us last year, but you know what? He is gone. So here we go sim through the date and oh geez come on he came to major leagues yeah okay move to triple a there we go golden and he's a pretty good little catcher so that works for me no big deal there let's go sim through yeah auto fix lineups and we're still losing games but 12 and 19 now so stan mora got a win finally and it looks like Howard Murakami took another loss. Daniel Norris took another. Oh, he won, thankfully. So here we go. Let's take a look at the lineup. See where we're going right, where we're going wrong. Jose Reyes, you know what? Micah Johnson should be leading off. If you ever seen his speed, like, I don't know what's going on there. Jose Reyes is a good six man. And Michael Saunders in nine hole. That should be a little bit better now. And Devin Travis is starting to heat up, so we're really cooking now with Bautista, Travis, and Encarnacion. Everyone else has hit a few home runs, and Hunter and Fours hit quite a few home runs, so not bad. Let's uh, jump into the game. View organization scheme. Yep, perfect, perfect. Let's go for it. Marcus Stroman. And we've already went with run four before, so... See here, Micah Johnson is our only guy on the bench. Run four is a natural left fielder. Uh, yeah, let's play our lock as Michael San Saunders again. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so our batting average has climbed up to 18th in the league. Home runs is second, that's no big shocker there. RBIs is 28th in the league, so we need to start batting in some runs here. And stolen base is 13th in the league, so not too, too bad. But pitching is still struggling mightily. So we need to get going here. Marcus Stroman needs to give us a good start, and no, he does not. As Hunter and four over in left field is on base in a 3 nothing deficit here in, I assume, the bottom half of the second. Yes, indeed. Pitch in and it's a circle change. I have never had luck hitting those. And it's a swinging easy strike number one. Pitch number two. Oh, it's a fastball high. Oh, it's laced. Oh, it's caught. Damn, Saunders just couldn't turn any more on that anymore. And it would have been to the wall for a double and possibly an RBI. So now with the game tied here in the bottom of the third against the lefty, he is... Got two oats and two men on chance to finish this game with a little bit of a punch on his box score. If he can get at least a hit here, he'll get an RBI and look a little bit sharper than an Ofer if that's what he ends up with. Swinging on the circle change again. Who is that? It's Matt Moore. Okay. Throws a pretty effective circle change, I must say. And the fastball too late, swinging strike number three 
So that circle change really screwed me up. And Saunders gets a chance to bat here in the bottom of the sixth. In comes the pitch from Moore. The curveball, and I'm just not seeing the ball right now. So I'm having a ton of difficulty here. And swinging on the two seam fastball, good timing, but it's just way too low. And ended up going down there for strike number two. That'll be outside ball number one. Thankfully, this should be a 3 0 count right now. Holy. And swinging on the circle change again. So give Matt Moore another strikeout. Russell Martin gets on, thankfully. And here we go. Bases loaded. Encarnacion was out. But Saunders gets a chance to bat here with two outs. And uh, the base is juice. What more can be said? And he fouls this one off. Looked like a change up right there. Yes, indeed it was. It's got to really protect against that slider. And that two-seam fastball moved off the plate. Jeez, just not seeing the ball at all right now. And another strikeout on Michael Saunders. Oh, no. Base is juiced, and he struck out. And now Joaquin Arias wins the game. Oh no, Howard Murakami, way to go, bud. Coming up huge with that save as the Blue Jays got one in the bottom late. And they win a game against Tampa Bay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's beautiful. I'll take that every day of the week. So we'll take another three-game simulation here after the fact. And sim through the date. And now we got a little winning streak going here. Losing, losing, losing. Okay, never mind. So we are losing ugly here every single game. It's our bullpen that's really doing it while Jeff Hoffman butchered it there. Scouting, 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 bingo. Okay, good enough. And transactions completed. Yep, okay. And view trading block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So really that's it, guys. It's far as it goes as Aaron Sanchez is on fire so is Marcus Stroman but the rest of the pitching is really struggling Stan Mora is up to a 66 now as he's got two wins under his belt and eight innings of work so he's really pounding it out he's doing well Daniel Norris is back up to a 74 but that 7.67 ERA is just ugly Howard Murakami he's got 10 saves in 11 innings so plenty of work and Miguel Castro is doing okay. So guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning into this edition of the Blue Jays franchise. I apologize that we're losing horrendously, but please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So long from Yak City.